time is 5.14 a.m. June 21st, 1922. Excuse me, <laughs> June 21st, 2022. And this is the summer solstice coming up. And this was the best place for me to enjoy it. I'm gonna make the most of today. And I encourage you to do the same thing. Love you guys. I'm checking out a new place today. I may or may not get it. It's very nice. It's in San Francisco. It's a brand new building. Um, two bedrooms, two bathroom. So I'm making a decision. Do I want to give this apartment complex $5,600 every month but they're giving two free months, or do I want to exercise my travel options? It'd be a miracle if I don't go to sleep during the... I know I'm not going to go to sleep during the rave because of that razor-sharp cardboard that y'all put in my mouth. How come they can send a man to the moon and they can't figure out a more comfortable way to take that? I know. I know. Like Jesus Christ. Christ. I know. They need to update this now. She's doing a live feed when she's doing this. I'm just doing that oh. real quick. I just wanted to... Look, come here. Hi, Dr. Young. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Okay, first of all, Rona was two years, then I had my, my knees, remember? She got her knees done, and Both. then she's gallivating around the world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here you. now, I know. Nice this is the best dentist in Beverly Hills, everybody, You're by the, the way. You're the Dr. sweetest. Dr. Corinne Young, honey, she's everything. Because I don't even with the dentist, and you know that, but her, <laughs> she done got me straight. 
<laughs> we got, and I want to talk about a whole bunch of stuff later too. So you gonna come in later, right? This your new assistant, yes, that's a first man that's been in my mouth in a couple of years. I'll tell you that. Bye. My old man and his father, behind me. In the last round. That I'm in Texas. I came here to Texas to see about him. Um, I've mentioned before that my husband is ill, but I didn't really go into the details about what he has. So he uh, has COPD, which is a lung and breathing condition, which, you know, as a result from years of drug use, for you people out there doing drugs and smoking cigarettes and smoking cigars and blunts. You know, we don't give you COPD. We smoking papers and pipes don't give you COPD. We're not sure about these vapes, but I do know about tobacco and crack. And so um, that's just one thing. Then he has had some strokes and he has a, a heart monitor and also had prostate cancer, which he has recovered from that, thank God, but not without some really lousy um, repercussions and results. All across the country, the doctors, they do their job, but in saving people's lives and including the they're helping the quality of people's life through surgery. But the nurses, they do surgery and then they sew them up and they go home. It's the nurses, the male and female nurses that do the real dirty work. That change the soiled linens, that change the soiled nightgowns, that look at, wash your elder and sick family members. God bless you, honey. Cause this is this is this is my husband, and I couldn't do what they're doing. And I, you know, have done some things since I've been here, but as a on, on the daily, and to do it for other people that you're not related to. Not me. I'm just not cut out for it. My service is more mental than it is physical, you know? So anyway, um, I just wanted to say this real quick, <clears throat> that I appreciate all the nurses around the country, you good nurses, whether you work at day, whether you work at night, whether you do 12-hour shifts, which you have to do sometimes, because I don't think your family members really know what you have to deal with at work, and I do. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to uh, <clears throat> all of y'all who take care of other people. Who take care of other people. I really, really appreciate you. Lunell and my family, we appreciate nurses. Because there is no... I'm not cut out for it. It's not that I don't have the compassion. I don't have the stomach. And I don't have the patience. And you know, to thine own self be true. I just know it's not for me. Thank, 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 thank the nurses all across the country for the work that you do. Like I said, the doctors get paid way more than the nurses. Doctors are driving fancy cars and living beautiful lives. Nurses are doing all the dirty work. All of it. So that's all I wanted to say. I don't do any manual labor. I don't know how to do anything. I, they, the update is that, no, don't tell me what to do. And then uh, 
I know. She said, y'all can lie, Grandma. Ronnie is upstairs resting comfortably. And the rug rats are on the trampoline. And they attempted to build this. Okay. You can tell the Texas backyard, okay? And look at this one. Do you want to get in? Uh-uh. She said no. Hey, I went y'all up some more. Where the hell? How I do it? I don't do any manual labor. I don't know how to do anything. I, they were, oh, I see you got it up there so you can jump in the water. Okay. So, this is manual labor for this. Is, he won't got his eye. They ain't got no towel. They get water in their eye, Lenny. Yeah, so. I'm bringing all of Now, you know, this is out of my wheelhouse, y'all. Live jackets. Yeah, well, I'm going you told me to get it, then you came in here to get it. You, I want to open it. Okay, go ahead on outside and open it. Here, here. Go outside with it. Take off.